The natural log of 2x is a composite function, so to take its derivative, we need to use the chain rule, which tells us the derivative of a composite function f of g of x equals f prime of g of x multiplied by g prime of x. If we can accurately identify our outside function, f, and our inside function, g, then applying the chain rule is a breeze. In this case, our outside function, which we'll call f of x, is the natural log of a thing. So f of x is the natural log of x. The inside function is the thing that's inside the natural log. We'll call it g of x, and in this case, it's equal to 2 times x. Then, to take the derivative of the natural log of 2x, we begin with f prime, the derivative of the outside function. The outside function is the natural log of x, and the derivative of that is just 1 over x. But remember, it's not x that we want to plug into f prime, it's g of x that needs to be plugged into f prime. So rather than x down here, it should be g, and g is 2x. Then, we just multiply by g prime, the derivative of that inside function. The inside function was 2x, and its derivative is just 2. The 2's cancel out, and we see the derivative is 1 over x. And hopefully you can see how it would work out this same way, no matter what number is getting multiplied by x, as long as it's non-zero. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my Calculus 1 course and Calculus 1 exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching.